For thousands of kids that participate in 4-H each year, the fair is an opportunity to showcase projects and cultivate important skills that last a lifetime. My name is Addie Burkett. I'm a 4 h -er from Madison County. I am in the Scottish Farm Feeders 4-H Club. Poultry in specific is what I mainly show. Me and my family are really big into like egg production, and so we always do the pen of three egg layers. It's always been me, my two sisters, and then like some other people. My favorite thing is like, they're so chill. Like if you get the right chicken, and like the chicken's comfortable with you, you can like literally just sit in a lawn chair, and like the chicken will just like sit there. And they're so cute. I don't know, I just really like it. It's like a smaller animal, so it's a little easier to take care of versus like a ewe or like a steer, but it's still like responsibility and everything. Responsibility is a life skill all 4-H members learn. There you go. For Addie, an EF4 tornado that tore through her hometown of Winterset last spring was a lesson in what it means to also be resilient. So me, my younger sister, and my parents were at home when it happened. I actually have a video, and I thought it was really cool, and I was like skipping out our front door, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Less than 10 minutes later is a video that I have on my Snapchat, and it's just me panning our property. Our house is gone, our garage. There's a power line. Here's my room. It's supposed to be over there. Despite the damage to her house, Addie said it wasn't even a question as to whether or not she was going to continue participating in 4-H. That summer, in addition to showing chickens at the county fair, Addie represented Madison County in the Iowa State Fair Queen competition. So at the state fair, I ended up winning Personality Plus. And Personality Plus this year from Madison County, Addie Burkett. That meant a lot to me, knowing that all the stuff that I've gone through, people still like believed in me and like I had a huge support base. As she prepares to move to college this fall, Addie looks back on her time in 4-H with fond memories. This is 10 years of blood, sweat, and tears in 4-H. This is my 4-H record book. This was actually under my bed. Um, before the tornado. My bed was the only thing holding up the only wall that was left in my room, but this survived. This is one of the first times that I got my champion egg production pen of three. Very proud of that, very proud. This is a big one, reserve champion at the state fair. Of course, it's a little dirty. Can't really wash ribbons all that effectively after a tornado. When I was little, I used to like think that the ribbons meant everything, but like growing up, I would rather look at those pictures and remember like what it was like and how it felt and everything than to like just look at these. They're nice and in the moment of getting them I felt really accomplished and everything but looking back it's not all about the ribbons. <laughs>